Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials. It was August 27th, 1986, and the front page of The Observer Reporter didn't say anything particularly juicy. One headline announced that the country's poverty rate had dipped for the second year in a row. Another reported that banks had lowered their prime rate to 7.5%. The page's sole picture featured two elementary school students eagerly awaiting to answer a question on their first day of class. If you were looking for something with a little more oomph, though, you'd have to flip all the way to page A6. Planned Exorcism, a Surprise to Family. This and other stories will be told during Paranormal PA, an original Penn Live series that dives into Pennsylvania's stranger tales from ghosts to aliens to Bigfoot. Keep your eyes peeled for Paranormal PA's debut on Monday, October 3rd on PennLive.com, if you dare. Kenny Wood will enact a chaperone policy as well as other security measures following last weekend's shooting. Meanwhile, Penn State spent nearly $318,000 on meetings amidst a university-wide effort to tighten its belt. Going off that, a new bill could make state-related universities' finances more accessible. Finally, here's where Pennsylvanians like to get their coffee from the most. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Kennywood will enact a chaperone policy as well as other security measures following a shooting on Saturday that left several injured, reports the Tribune Review. This policy requires anyone under the age of 17 to be accompanied by an adult over 21 at all times. Masks will also be banned after 6 p.m., the exception being medical masks, security will conduct more bag checks, and perimeter fences will be more closely monitored. This podcast previously reported how the amusement park confirmed its weapons detection system was working the day of the shooting, although how a gun got through remains unclear. The incident remains under investigation, and no arrests have been made as of the recording of this episode. Penn State is currently making university-wide efforts to tighten its belt, reports Spotlight PA State College. And amidst this belt tightening, new records have revealed that the school's board of trustees shelled out nearly $318,000 on its past six in-person meetings, over $155,000 of which was spent on food and associated costs. Penn State spokesman Wyatt Dubois explained via email statement that these costs vary depending on location, attendance, and agenda. He further stated that trustees aren't paid and that the school reimburses their travel expenses, which some of them forego. Dubois further confirmed the board has made changes to reduce costs and is exploring other ways to continue to do so. Going off of that, a new bill is looking to make public records at state-related universities more accessible by expanding Pennsylvania's right-to-know law, states NorthCentralPA.com. The state Senate recently passed Senate Bill 488, which would create an online searchable database that details information about a school's budget and approved contracts. It would also increase the amount of university personnel salary information subject to public disclosure. This legislation now moves to the House of Representatives for consideration. It's National Coffee Day, everyone, says Penn Live. And in honor of this holiday, a new study from Penn Stakes has found the top five spots Pennsylvanians like to go to get a cup of joe. Penn Stakes looked over Google Trends search data from over the past year as a basis of the study, then leveraged info on coffee shop locations and sentiment. After all that, they found Pennsylvania's top five coffee spots to be, in ascending order, 7-Eleven, Sheets, Wawa, Dunkin' Donuts, and Starbucks in the number one spot. Starbucks, ironically, isn't offering any deals today, but all the others are. Hope all you fellow coffee drinkers get a chance to treat yourself. That wraps up today's episode. For more news, check out PennLive.com. Also, please remember to give this podcast a rating and to maybe leave a review if you can. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you for Friday's episode of Today in a Piet. Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. 
Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials.